Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger says the so-called pension crisis threatens the state's fiscal future. He urged lawmakers to forge a compromise on pensions, but did not endorse a ballot measure to slash retirement security. The governor's proposed state budget promises more deep cuts to close a nearly $20 billion shortfall. The budget includes a plan to protect mutual aid funding, but also calls for mandatory pay cuts for thousands of state workers. Two Modesto firefighters faced difficult recoveries after falling through a ceiling during a major structure fire. James Adams and Jason Clevenger suffered severe second and third degree burns in the New Year's blaze. Of all the challenges posed by California's fiscal crisis, one problem is truly frightening. Our world-class mutual aid system is near the breaking point with the prospect of more devastating fires on the horizon. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has once again introduced the California Emergency Response Initiative in an effort to save our vital disaster response network. The ERI has been a CPF priority for two years, most recently in last year's Assembly Bill 196. Through a modest insurance fee, the ERI would generate up to a half billion dollars for state and local agency responders, the backbone of California's mutual aid system. Late last year, CPF brought together a remarkable coalition of labor and management to lobby on behalf of the ERI. What's special about this, it's the first time where we've had the League of City Chiefs, the Cal Chiefs, the Fire District Board, CSFA, us, 2881, and the administration, Calima and the National Guard together saying, as a fire service community, everybody's saying, we need to have this initiative passed. This same united front will stand together in 2010 as it did in 2009 when the ERI came within a single vote of passage in the California State Senate. We're not going to go away with this initiative. It's not going away. The problem's not going away. We need the resources to make this happen. You can find out more about the Emergency Response Initiative and how you can help make it a reality by going to the Find It Here section at www.cpf.org and clicking Emergency Response Initiative. We begin 2010 with a remembrance of those who have given their lives so that California can be safe. The 7th Annual California Firefighters Memorial Ceremony offered a special tribute to more than 1,100 firefighters who have died in the line of duty since 1850 and whose names are inscribed on the limestone walls. The pipes and drums led a procession of hundreds of uniformed firefighters from the steps of the state capitol to the memorial grounds. The 2009 ceremony brought together more than 1,000 firefighters, family members, and friends to pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate price. It is not a day to grieve, although grief may creep in, but it is a day to honor them for what they have accomplished, who they are, and the sacrifices that they've made. This beautiful memorial is a touchstone to our profession. It's a place where California can come and see the dedication and courage of the fire service. Tributes rang through the crisp autumn air, including a moving remembrance of Modesto firefighter Kenneth Smith from his chief. I think if you had talked to Ken close to the end of his life, he would have told you that even knowing the outcome of this, he would have done it all again. He would have done a few things different. He would have watched out for those things that, uh, those unseen hazards maybe that, that crept up on him. That is, I think, true with all of us that have had the opportunity to be firefighters. We would do it all again. With a single bell toll and a tearful presentation, more than 80 names were added to the memorial wall, including 20 who lost their lives over the previous 12 months. The polished limestone of the memorial wall has become a sacred spot for families looking to connect with the spirit of a lost loved one. It's just amazing that they do that for these guys. Because people don't understand. And, you know, it's, I'm, that they honor their dad like that. You know, they'll be able to bring their kids here and show them, you know, that their dad was a fireman and that he was a good fireman and they honored him in this way. The California Firefighters Memorial was conceived and built by firefighters for firefighters through CPF's nonprofit California Fire Foundation. To learn more about the memorial and see tributes from past years, go to www.ca.gov.
cpffirefoundation.org or click the memorial link at www.cpf.org.